staying with Libya, the Libyan leader Gaddafi today launched an air attack near one of the country's biggest oil refineries, that is a Ras Lanouf refinery. Uh, apparently, uh, according to the company, the Libyan Emirates oil refinery, there has not been damage uh, to this particular uh, facility. However, there's been smoke seen rising from the area, and you know, Sheila uh, has been following some of this as well, and that caused a, a brief spike in the price of oil. Uh, Stephen Shork is joining us uh, right now. He's the editor of the Shork Report. Uh, on this uh, on this latest development, and Stephen, how big could this uh, how big of an impact could this have if, in fact, we find that this refinery has been uh, damaged and is in operation inoperable? Well, I think a lot of this, Betty, has already been priced into the market. Not to belittle what is happening there at the refinery, we are talking about two thirds of Libya's. Uh, refinery output and with the export terminal there we're talking about five percent of the country's uh, oil exports uh, but again look we've risen twenty dollars a barrel since uh, the headline uh, came out so I think this is just one more factor in there that uh, essentially has been priced into the market and what does it produce is it light sweet crude or, or what is it yeah well, generally uh, what uh, the Libyan oil does it, it is a light sweet crude it is one of your more desired crude oils given the amount of gasoline it yields through the refining process. So uh, again, though, uh, a lot of this is uh, has, has been priced into the market. And, and quite frankly, I think we're looking for another domino to fall in the, in the area to get prices really moving higher. Mm -hmm. I just don't think this is What, you is mean like Algeria or something like that? I, I think, yeah. The, 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 the problem what we have now is, and what we all know about markets, is they have poor uncertainty. And with what we're seeing in Egypt and especially Libya, uh, we're talking about duration. We're talking about two sides, the pro and anti Qaddafi forces that are unable to apparently seize control right now. Mm -hmm. So this is an ongoing event that is certainly going to help support oil prices into the foreseeable future. Stephen, it's Sheila Dharmaraj in here. You know, OPEC has been pretty vocal about saying that it can make up any potential supplies lost by Libya. How confident do you think the market is in that? Uh, I think the market is, is I, they, they are comfortable with it from the standpoint that they know OPEC does not want oil prices any higher. In fact, they want them considerably lower. Uh, they would prefer oil prices probably in the $70 to $80 range at, at this uh, point. Because OPEC is aware, as the West is, that if you get prices much higher or we sustain prices here, you will begin to choke off economic demand. But as your question, Sheila, is how confident is the market? I think the market is starting to wane a little bit. Because, look, OPEC's compliance with their current quota was maybe 53% before this. So mm -hmm. they are already overproducing. So, but you know what? We keep on addressing the supply side. We also have to factor in the demand side because inelasticities are going to wane. Consumers will change their behavior. Let's take China, for instance. Over the last month, China raised the retail price of gasoline because with plus $100 oil, Chinese refineries could not make any money. So the government there raised prices to try to cut demand. When you juxtapose Raise that, the price of gas, okay. Yeah, raise the price of gas. When you, when you juxtapose that with inflation in China and with raising interest rates in China, they really are trying to moderate demand. And this is before uh, Brent crude oil went above $150. Right. So we do have the concern about supply, but demand will rise to these, uh, will fall, excuse me, to these rising in prices. In reaction to that, right. It's, it's elastic, as you say. Stephen, thank you. No, Thank you. Stephen Shork, uh, editor of the Shork Report, talking about the oil market.